And you just say, I've learned my lessons from these things. I'm ready to let them go and give them to God. Give them to God. Say, I am unyoked from this at this moment in time. I, I don't want to be carrying this burden around anymore. I'm ready to experience the abundance of life. And welcome back to Crafted Entrepreneur. Okay, I'm excited today because, you know, I always think about who who is listening into this podcast and what do they need to hear right now? Well, yesterday I spent the entire day with one of my private clients. We were out on the beach and creating her wealth strategy. We had such an amazing time. It's like one of my favorite things to do is spend one-on-one time with my private clients because I just like to go deep. Like I love coaching people. I love coaching people. And I've coached thousands of women at this point. And one of the things I've seen when somebody is on the brink of their breakthrough to the next level is self-doubt starts to creep in. And self-doubt looks like, I don't know all the answers. I don't know enough. I don't have the right people. I don't have enough influence. I don't think I'm really capable of creating that vision. You know, like all of this stuff that goes through every one of our minds before we're going to that next level. And so I'm speaking to you today from that point of view, if you're struggling with that doubt. So I want you to imagine this. You're on a beach and you're playing tug of war. And on one end is you, the one that has all of this amazing vision. And you're actually living out that vision. Like you have everything you've ever wanted. You're fulfilled. You have so much joy. You're impacting the world around you. You have your dream home. You really don't have any worries. Okay. That's version one of you on one side of the rope. And on the opposite side of the rope, and they're hanging on for dear life, are the versions of you that have failed, that have been made fun of, that have publicly failed too, that have the parents that are saying, don't be an entrepreneur, the friends that are saying, just get a job, the instructors that are saying you're not ever going to make it, all of those versions of you that had people that did not believe in them. And they're pulling on this rope. And here you are on the other side, right? And it's just one you, right? The, The best version of you, I call it your champion self is on the other side of this rope. And you're playing tug of war to like try to get your way. And what's so crazy, you're trying to take all of these versions of you, all of these people's opinions of you, really, that are on the other side of the rope. You're pulling this rope to kind of like bring them with you to that next level because you want to show them like, hey, it's going to be good. It's amazing over here. You want to see this. You want to see this view. You want to experience all of this with me. And you don't realize that at any moment, you could just drop the rope. Everybody on the other side of that rope will fall and you're free. You don't have the burden. You're just living life. You're enjoying your life. You're at that level. You get to just experience it now. But for whatever reason, which I think it's guilt, we hold on to the past and we say, we want to bring you with us. When I want you to realize right now, in order to get to where you want to go, it's going to be really hard to pull them along the entire way. Just you on your own, pulling that rope with all of those opinions. It's so heavy. So right now in this moment, I want you to imagine yourself dropping the rope. Just drop the rope and keep walking towards your destiny. That is what is required of you right now. And it's going to be hard because those versions of you that cared about what other people thought, that took advice from the wrong people who have failed, 
they all have wisdom for you, right? And you can take the wisdom from those lessons and from those versions of you and deposit it, put it in a journal. You could take the good things with you, but the heaviness and the doubt that is on that other side, that can't go with you. You need to say, I've learned my lessons from these things. I'm ready to let them go and give them to God. Give them to God. Say, I am unyoked from this at this moment in time. I I don't want to be carrying this burden around anymore. I'm ready to experience the abundance of life. When you're experiencing true abundance, you're experiencing life pure. How God originally intended for you to experience life joy, great community, happiness, the realization of your dreams that he had planted into your heart. Okay. So it's such a powerful visual because when you find yourself next time hearing that doubt in your head, literally drop the rope, just like right there, like, like in your mind, drop the rope, let it go and move on and say, okay, God, what is the next best step you want me to take towards my destiny? And you don't have anger. You're not mad. You just stopped fighting the fight of all that because you took authority and you said, you know what? I realized like when I am really at my purest, I'm made in the image of God. So everything I touch is going to prosper. I'm here to win in this world. So of course, everything I touch is going to do well. So Lord, what's the next step for me? And he's not going to give you a whole downloadable PDF with the 10 steps to your next level. You're going to get one step at a time. And that's probably a frustrating part for a lot of us entrepreneurs, because that's the time where the doubt gets to creep in. But when you realize, okay, no, I'm going to take authority over that. I'm not going to think that way. I can just stop fighting that battle anymore. It's a battle that you are already victorious in, right? Because you hold the power to drop the rope at any time. And so remember that You are here for a purpose. God has a plan for you. The most important thing you could do today is to serve other people in your business. So no matter what industry you're in right now, how can you serve somebody in this very moment? Is it sending a text to a client, an encouraging note? Is it going and sharing a friend or a client's post online so they can get more customers? Is it investing in a coach or a mentor that is sowing a good seed for you to get closer to your harvest because you don't know what you don't know. God will reveal those things to you. And he's already trying to reveal it to you right now, but you have all those voices of the past that are crowding it out, right? That are on the other side of that rope. And so once those voices go away, it's like, oh, clarity. I have freedom in my mind and I can hear purely from God what he wants for me. So your challenge today is to drop the rope, but also to write out your vision and then commit it to God and ask for your next step. So I want you to have some alone time and just really meditate on God's promises for you. Zechariah 4.10 says, do not despise small beginnings. And if you realize that, like God, you might be in that small beginning right now, but once you leave the doubt behind, you're going to be freed up to really hear what he has next for you as an entrepreneur. So take that time to create that vision with the Lord today. And if you need more support in your business, remember to go to KaylaCraft.com. We have several different programs that can help you, whether you're just getting started in business or you're looking to go to the next level and you want support from me personally. So just head over to KaylaCraft.com and fill out an application to work with us. Thanks so much. 